Hi, I'm The Smoking Elk, and today I'm going to be cooking this brisket point, but on the rotisserie. So I'm going to do something a little bit different today, but before we go into it, I just want to take a minute to big up my barbecue school. Now, if you haven't heard, this shack behind me, I call it a shack, it's a 72 square metre unit behind me, is where I host barbecue classes just outside of Portsmouth in Cal Plain. So if you haven't heard yet or you haven't checked them out, head over to my website, www.thesmokingelk.com and check out classes that are going to be available to book starting around March 2023. So that's that bit out of the way. Let's take a look at the brisket. So I've got a brisket point here. It's not quite what I ordered from the butcher, but that doesn't matter because we're going to have a bit of fun today and I'm going to try something a little bit different. We're going to do a bit of an experiment and I'm going to try and rotisserie this brisket point. Now, normally I wouldn't even attempt to stick this on a rotisserie because you're going to put the, the spit, the rod through the brisket, you're going to put the forks on and once it starts becoming tender, it's going to be, it's going to flop about everywhere. It's not going to work, but the way I think it's going to work today and the way I think it can work is because I've got this new rotisserie basket from Kamado Joe. So this thing here, this is instead of your rod that goes into the rotisserie. And then you've got your basket. So this thing here, you can use it as a kind of normal rotisserie basket by popping one of these on that side and one on the other side gives you your kind of big basket where you're likely to roll your wings and then the other bits and pieces that can just tumble around in the basket. But the beauty about this one is you can use flat parts as well. So we can get something in there like a bit of fish, um, nice and tight so we can pop this in and you've got three different levels. So we can kind of pop that down to the tightest level, put a bit of fish in there and it'll stay nice and secure. Or you can have it on the kind of loosest level and then you can pop something a bit bigger in there. So, hence why I think this brisket point is going to work, because we're going to put that in there and we're going to secure it nice and tight using these baskets. So, um, first thing I want to do is get this trimmed up and we're going to put a seasoning on there, which is just going to be two parts pepper, one part salt. So let's crack on, get that trimmed, get that rubbed, and then we'll come back and stick it in the basket. So that's the brisket trimmed up. Didn't have to do a lot of trimming on there, just some of the kind of thicker fat on there. Just taken off a bit of a strip of meat here that was just probably a bit loose and would have just burnt up. Um, and we just stuck some salt and pepper on there. So, like I said, this is going to be a bit of an experiment. I've no idea how this is going to turn out. I've never thought about rotisserie in a brisket before. I'm going to do it on the Kamado Joe in the basket. Now, I've got the Kamado Joe set up a little bit different as well. Now, normally I bank the coals to the back um, and just light a fire and we have it set like that with a couple of cherry wood chunks on top. Today, I've gone with a cherry split, so we've kind of got that acting as a, uh, as a divider with the charcoal behind it. So what's going to happen is that cherry split is going to slowly smoke throughout the cook and this is going to just get a consistent level of cherry smoke all over the brisket. So I'm going to be cooking it at my usual temperature, somewhere between 140 and 150 Celsius. Don't know how long it's going to take. Normally they take about five or six hours when I do them hot and fast. I'm assuming something similar. Like I said, this is new to me, it's an experiment. A couple of things that I think are going to happen. I think we're going to get a nice bark on there. Remember, I'm not going to wrap this either, it's all just going to be on the rotisserie. So I think we're going to achieve a nice bark. Um, I'm hoping it still remain nice and juicy inside, but I think maybe it'll cook a little bit quicker, we'll get a good bark on there. Like I said, this is all an experiment. It's new to me, it's new to you. None of us know what's going to happen. So um, let's crack on, get this in the basket and get it spinning on the Kamado Joe.
Right. Um, it was all going so well. Unfortunately, something has come up that needs my urgent attention. So, um, I've probed this. It's probing at about 93 degrees Celsius. So it's ever so close, but I have to cut it short. So we're going to see what it looks like anyway. We've got this kind of dark bark on there, which I expected because we kind of cooked it direct on a rotisserie for, uh, it's been about five hours, five and a half hours. Some of it feels softer than other bits. Remember, this needs to go further. I have run out of time. Um, so, and it needs resting. I haven't got the time to rest it. So we're just gonna have a little slice in and see how it looks now. Um, and then maybe we'll come back and revisit this experiment another time. But um, there we go. It's got a little bit of a jiggle, um, but I can tell it's still a bit tough. It hasn't broken down properly, um, which is what I would want from the brisket point. Um, got a good color, but some of it is a bit darker um, than I'd hoped, but let's just slice in. I need to be quick. We're gonna slice in, see how it looks. Um, let's just crack on. So we're just gonna go straight in at this end here. And to be fair, I reckon if we'd taken this all the way, that would have been a decent effort. I mean, come in, and have a little look at that. It's kind of, you can see it's just starting to break down. It's hot because I haven't rested it. It's just starting to break down. It's got a nice smoke ring there. It's juicy, it's moist. We've got this beautiful smoke ring there. I'm gutted that we're gonna have to cut this short, but um, something has come up. Um, I am gonna try it again though, because this has given me the enthusiasm to try it again, just seeing what I'm seeing there. Just take another little slice off there. It's nice, bendy. I'm happy with that, considering it's not quite done. I reckon that would have worked. I'm gonna have a taste because it's the bark that I wanted to do it for, cooking it direct over the coals. So I'm just gonna slice a bit this point now. Just have a quick taste. It's soft, it's juicy. This is exactly how I expect the point end brisket to be. This part anyway, this part in here, we'll just have a little slice in just to show you. It's not done yet. You can see there, this is all still tough. It's all still tight, it hasn't loosened up. Um, but, it was an experiment. I've had to cut it short. There's no fairies in barbecue. Worst case scenario, there's always a chili. So I'm gonna bang that in the chili. That I'm gonna eat, because that has turned out absolutely perfectly. So we'll try it again another time. I've got a dash, I'm a smoking elk. I'll see you again soon.